So you should be able to see my team viewer right now um, on the screen. Good. So just a bit of a briefing for this exercise. We're going to be in fog and I'm actually going to uh, require a navigational assistance. I'm going to tell you this, but you don't tell that to the operators when you give them the briefing. Okay, all columns are going. Simulation yes. is running. All right. Start your clock. Yeah, we will slow down. Secure it A, secure it A, secure it A. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Osport's VTS. Navigation warning, the vessel Biscay has lost all power and navigation equipment will require navigation assistance to Anchorage position one. All vessels are required to stay well clear. This is Osport's VTS out. Osport pilot vessel. Andre, Osport BTS, yes. Uh, yes, departed berth underway. Osport BTS pilot, out. Yes, uh, pilot information, uh, vessel Biscay will be number one for pilot. I think we might have to make a decision. I might have to make a decision about this. Uh, What's he doing? Three knots, 13 knots. I'm going to hold the Monterey and let Danielson go through first. Are you happy with that? Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. Danielson's not calling back, so I'm just going to go out to the Monterey. Monterey, Monterey, Osport BTS, Osport BTS, channel 1 4, over. Hello, switchboard, just after marine operations, please. Hi, Stacey, Osborne BTS. Just following up on the debris and wood floating berth Bravo. Have you guys managed to have a look? Outbound. 4C, over. Danielson, passing reporting point two, entering sector two, inward bound to berth Alpha two. Osports VTS out. Uh, call was answered in a timely manner. Yeah, I thought that one was really good. Um, I also thought that if they couldn't answer the calls in a timely manner, that they used, they used uh, standby a few times um, for very warranted reasons.